is going on everyone my name is mr boss for the win as you guys already know that and this is going to be another episode of some black ops 2 today i'm playing on launch and this was a game that i didn't quite make it through For some reason the connection cut out i don't know what was going on but i was 39 and 0 in a regular tdm so that could have been the potential to be a 50 plus and 0 match or 50 plus and a really low death score anyways let's get on to the black ops 2 because that's what we want to talk about today all right, again, this is coming from a website, mpfirst.com, and basically the title is the uh, Treyarch Developers Teases Black Ops 2 Multiplayer HUD and Custom Game Setting. And then they started, and then the, the end of the article is like debunking a rumor. So this is a tweet from David Vonderhaar. So fired up right now. UI team put together an MP HUD visual design, clean with high readability slash usability, but maintains a great looking art. So... This is really good because I know a lot of people complained in Black Ops that the HUD didn't, it wasn't big enough. It didn't show a large enough region and that's why the motion sensor looked so big was because the HUD or the, yeah, the HUD was so small. And so because of that, a lot of people were complaining like, oh, I'm dying around corners or it's kind of tough to read uh, where I am on the map, where other things are on the map, where's this building, where's that building. And so they're trying to basically get a, a good balance between beauty and usability because they want it to look good, but they also want it to be effective because without the HUD in Call of Duty, I would be horrible. I use that all the time to check my surroundings, where my teammates are, where red dots are. So all of that is very important. Okay, the next thing they talked about is custom games. Uh, David Vonderhaar also revealed that the custom game settings will allow for further options than in previous Call of Duty titles. When asked it with, if it will be possible to take off third person spectating for private matches so people can't use it to assist others, Vonderhaar replied, can't get into any details now, but they're working on a lot of custom game controls for behavior and rules. So that's good. Obviously, you want to limit cheating and whatever you can to do to improve someone's game beyond their means. You want to do that. And lastly, when referring to an older Black Ops 2 multiplayer rumor, including game modes, uh, which includes perk, Vonderhard just basically said, I don't use third party sites. So basically, if you want to get legitimate information from him, go through his Twitter, go through websites that you can trust, not third party um, forums or anything like that. That's definitely not where you're going to want to check. So again, all of this is really good news uh, for anyone who is interested in Black Ops 2, uh, basically because there's nothing negative right there. All we're seeing is good news, which is, which is really what you want. Um, and it's exciting to see that they're working on the cheating aspect of the game. Obviously, that's important. Um, and obviously debunking rumors. So they're doing a really good job keeping up support with their fans. I know that that is something that I am always interested in. So again, guys, this has been another great episode of some Black Ops 2. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Remember to like the video uh, if you're new or subscribe if you're new. This is your first video of mine uh, and you're just right new onto the Black Ops 2 scene. Subscribe. There's going to be more where this came from. But other than that, have a nice day. I'll see you in the next episode and I'll talk to you later.